Alright everyone, welcome back to some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last episode we blew up the Sabat warehouse. We met a guy named Beckett. He appears to also be a gangrel just like us. Except he can turn into a dog, so hopefully we'll be able to do that in the future. Okay, here's Tung. Why don't we see what he has to say? Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Alright, um, did you know a guy named Beckett by chance? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? I don't know. I, he seems like he's been following me around. I spoke with him briefly after blowing up the warehouse. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Alright. I think I have some questions for you. What do you need? So, I guess first off, what was even going on between you and Therese? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. I mean, sounded like she wanted you dead. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. And did you know her and Jeanette were the same person? Oh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Alright, um, anything else like I can what? ask you? Uh... Let's see. What do you know about the clans? Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Alright. Well, what about the gangrel? Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Well, I mean... By that logic, did you get to choose how you look? Aw, did I hurt your feelings, flea bag? Well, just try not to let the doggy door pinch your tail on the way out. Alright, well, I I didn't mean to insult you or anything. I, let's not, I guess, leave a bad impression. Like what? Alright, what can you tell sure. me about the people around town? Uh... Let's see. What do you think of the prince? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Okay, but he had someone decapitate my sire. He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. <sighs> Okay, well, he seems like a threat, then. Sure. And what about Nines? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Hmm. What do you mean by anarch? Yeah. The anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? I see. Well, given the little I've heard about the Anarchs and based off their name, it seems like it's a group we'd want to, well, yeah, at the very least, be friends with, so... Let's see what, what we have to do now. So, I got a report, report, bleh, report to LaCroix at downtown. Okay, but how do I get there? Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe there's someone to tell us. Let me find out. Oh, hey, that's new. That wasn't here before. Where to? Uh, da da da. Uh, 
down. Just drive. Whoa. Okay. We're here. We need to go downtown. Wow. How did I not see that guy? <laughs> okay, um... Let's drain it. Okay, well... Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, lick. Well, do what you want, but you can't get that warehouse back. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! Leave. Nines! There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Hey, thanks for the save. Should have been more careful, Mooby. Bunch of shovel heads like that. They walk tough, but they scare easy. Just tear an ear off or something. Hey, I remember that. Hey, but wait a minute. You're the one sticking up for me at court, right? Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Hey, right, yeah. I'll, I'll meet you there. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. All right, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh my goodness. Also, what was that fourth wall break there? Oh, jeez. Uh, this is this, this game is going to be goofy. Geep, goofy, gup. <laughs> and a change of scenery, too. Huh, wonder if it's permanent. In any case, we now... Uh, never mind. Okay, so we can go to the last round. We should go meet up with uh, the prince. I'm sure he won't miss us if we're a little late. I guess that just means I guess find this place called the last round. What are you? Yeah. Um. Okay. Last round. Now you look like an interesting character. Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, <laughs> you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, what you got in there? Now, that is a legitimate question, but a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Because at Fat Larry's, my motto is, everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. All right. So, I mean, you talk a lot, but show me what you got. Nah, now that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I save my best stuff for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. <laughs> All right. Show me what you got. Ooh. Mac? Oh, that's a nine. And I cannot afford it. I don't think it looks like I can't afford that. But, uh, okay. 
can get new clothing. Okay, um, that's gonna be desperately, I'm desperately in need of that because, oh, okay, why don't we just get the shotgun shells, get a couple of those. Fat layer, oh my god, I, lo I love him already. <laughs> All right, last round, that's where we need to go. Should I... Mm. So much a good shot? What's going on over there? Should I... Should I help? I'm gonna help. Look, I just watched them rob a guy, alright? Alright, I gotta run. Oh! Yo! Look, you just watched them shoot a guy. Why are you after me? Alright, uh... I think we need to use some fortitude so I don't die, and then we'll... close to the knife, and then... try to run to safety. Ah, that guy's a cop. He probably wants to, wants to kill us, too. Out of the way, man. Alright. Okay, lesson learned. I um shouldn't help. I shouldn't help passerbys whenever I see them. I guess that's the lesson I've learned now. In the meantime, let's try and find a map of the place. And uh. Last round is at number nine. So we go down the street. Okay. Okay, good. If nothing else, at least I can evade police whenever I see them. What are you? Are you praying to the fire hydrant? Alright, well, none of my business. It is hmm, a bit of an, a tough decision. I mean, we did watch the, I guess, Prince literally just kill someone. So do I want to be keeping him waiting? Or do I want to learn more about the Anarchs? I mean, the, the dude's like stuck up for me more than once. So, I mean, I, I think it's the least I can do. You know, to, to at least be friendly. Now, is this a... Yeah. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. Well. Oh, you look interesting. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Beg your pardon. Heard nine saved your ass again. You think Lacroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? Alright, um... Do you mean LaCroix was about to kill me the first time? And not just my sire? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand boy out of it. Uh, this is all new to me, so I... I'm not trying to like piss you off or anything. I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out this whole new lifestyle. As long as you're a tool for some cake, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What, what do you mean by cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders, the ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Okay, huh? Can you tell me more about, I guess, what alternatives there might be? You want an alternative? Being here, that's a step in the right direction. I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Roy was in. Well, to be fair, 
I, I respect Nines for helping me out as much as he has. I don't know Lokoi, but once again, did watch him behead someone right in front of me, so... Hey, Cammy. I don't apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bear getting the CDC's attention, maybe I misjudged you for one second. Yeah. After this conversation, I'm going to have to turn up the voice audio, because I can barely hear her. Okay, but, um... Yeah, no, it's fine. So, just... What even is a plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay, um, how do we get rid of them? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Well, the Anarchs have helped me. Might as well help them. What can I do? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hey, yeah. Check him out. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, I'll get started. Um, thank you. He's cool. Hold up. Oh, this game is ancient. Is that, um... Oh, what was the name of it? Uh, Duty Call? Nah, that's not it. Frontline? No, that's Medal of Honor. Goddamn cannies. Finest Hour, that's it. You guys are all the same. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town. Poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? Um... I'm just here to talk to Nines. Nines is expecting you. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. I'm skeleton. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Right, yeah. Um, good thing. So then go on up and see her. You're free to do as you please here. Right, see ya. Right, Skelter. Yeah. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power, then those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Okay. Um. Hey, I, I'm... Okay, so what is the camera, then? What Are we part of it? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. Um... Okay, well, in that case, what are the Anarchs about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Okay. I like the sound of that. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Okay. Not a fan of them, I guess. The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. 
The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Okay. Um, I suppose you've tried meeting them with them? I got their meeting right here. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I didn't mean to make you angry, but um, I guess... I, I, I know the anarchs, or anarchists at least, don't really operate in terms of a hierarchy, but would you consider yourself a prince, or is that not... No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Okay. Uh, what kind of advice can you give? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't going to save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Okay. Um, I have repeatedly had, had my butt handed to me. You can teach me a thing or two about fighting. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this. And keep your body at an angle. It makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Got a static priest. Hey, I appreciate that. LA is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Good thing. Thank you. I think I like these guys. Well, well, look at who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, not much sightseeing, I won't say that much. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? <laughs> yeah, basically. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do you mean by politics? Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer. Keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Okay, but why me? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. So, why would, why would LaCroix want to kill me? It's bullshit Camarilla law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Okay, so why am I still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents who are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. So is, does that mean LaCroix is, you know, somewhat afraid of what Nines is capable of? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. Yeah, I uh, guess that makes sense. He does seem to have a bit of a Napoleon complex, huh? The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are so we'll all just jump on board. I take it it's not working then? Kids, we've lived in California, some of us for over a hundred years, and we've 
kicked the Kimberlers ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. And by we, I take it you mean the Anarchs? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Okay, um... What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, I think, think I don't have too many more questions. What's up? <laughs> Alright, well, see ya, Jack. Well, he taught us the ropes. Nines taught us how to fight. See what Skelter's about. Uh... I'm not gonna lie, I've only been a vampire for a few hours. Can you help me make sense of it? You've gotta understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000 year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel. It kind of makes me feel terrible. I had to do. I don't know, just on the way here, I was beaten half to death. I've been hunted by cops. Or just trying to survive. Oh, it doesn't really make me feel too good. That blood is a tangle of chains that's gonna leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. What do you mean by that? Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call, but the blood will, and it'll make you obey. Let's see. Is there a way to break free? That shit stretches all the way back to camp. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you don't feel that shit. Like it or not. And you mean the biblical Cain? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, man. Okay, um. So what about someone else? Who do you want to know about? What's up with Damsel? Any college girl over there? <laughs> to be honest, she reminds me of those miserable stateside protester fucks from when I was in Nam. But she's on the right side in this room. Don't let the hippie vibe fool you. Okay. Yeah, who do you want to know about? Uh, what about Jack? That's the man there. What righteous kid. I wish he'd take a more active stance in our fight. Fuck, man, he's Jack. Jack just does his thing. God help anyone who gets in the way. Hey, appreciate it, man. <clears throat> well, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Damsel has sent us to help out, um... What was it, a Plague Bearer? Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Did all my other quests go away? I get it. There's more places to go. Cool. So, I'm going to talk to some of the homeless population, get an idea of this plague bearer. Um, geez, you look rough. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! Uh, can you tell me something about this sickness? Look, I, I got money. I don't need the cans. Yeah, yeah, I heard that before. Come back with some green. Maybe I'll believe you. Okay, then. Maybe you get some money. Maybe try talking to some other people. Hmm. But don't forget milk. Okay. Da -da. Right, have you had anything to say? Okay, sorry. Well. I like them. 
I'm a bit of a rebellious type myself, so I, I think I'd fit in nicely with them. In the meantime, um, I suppose it wouldn't be too terribly, I guess, out of course to just go ahead and report with uh, the Camarilla. But, I mean, I don't know, based off what I've heard from the Anarchs, what the... What's up, brother? You enlightened? What do you mean? Sorry, brother. Come back when you become enlightened. Sure. <laughs> what? Okay. I wanted to talk to you back here. It's the skyline. place like a wallpaper that's not the music I'm what the I'm not supposed to be here am I um who are you the door stuck <laughs> okay greetings neonate might I assume you received my invitation I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Invitation. Oh, the guy sent me that poem? That? That you? Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Uh, sure. Um. What, what do you mean by chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. And regent, is that kind of like a prince? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Okay then, um, what kind of mysteries would, that, would those be? I'm sorry, Neo. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay, well, in that case, um... What's going on downtown? Why, why'd you invite me here? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Uh, Alright, Dad. <laughs> As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Okay, so what's going on then? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Well, I mean... I should have you know I'm actually helping them. Um, I mean, they're wanting to solve this problem, too. They have... Uh, some different theories, but I'll, I'll hear you out. I see. Most disappointing, Neonate. You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. Okay, in that case... I appreciate your advice, but is there any more you can tell me? What is it you would like to know? What do you think about the Camarilla? The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. 
There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. I mean, it seems like they just want to impose control on other clans is, I mean, based off what I've seen and heard, right? I'm sorry you think so. Perhaps we have nothing further to speak of. Okay, well, before I make my decision on who to help, perhaps I can hear you out more? Hmm. A wise choice, Neonate. It is always better to listen and learn than to act with brazen recklessness. Perhaps you might be a useful ally after all. All right. What is it you would like to know? Um, uh, I've got nothing. Um, but I'll, I'll keep what you said in mind. I'll see what the camera will have to say, and I'll weigh my options from there. Okay, so, so he was the guy who sent us that weird letter. Weird that I just kind of stumbled upon him. But ah, jeez, now I gotta find my way out of here. What the? What the? Okay. And then I came through here. And okay. Well, that was weird. Okay, well. I think what I'll do is. I'll go ahead and finish up my original quest for the Camarilla, and then see what they have to say about this whole epidemic thing, and then make my decision as to who to help. Okay, Adventure Tower's at number six. Oh, conven oh, oops. Conveniently, right beside it. Wait, I can... I can block? I've been able to block this whole time? Jeez. Alright. What you got for me, man? You look familiar, Chief. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Whew, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwoods. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Yeah, um, let's talk with LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? I'm going to guess Sebastian. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. All right, have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks, Chunk. <laughs> Name this dude Chunk. Wow, this place is kind of hideous. Okay. That's where I go. He yeah, just that. Dang, that dude's like eight foot tall. <laughs> hey. Uh, six foot versus five eleven. <laughs> Got him. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? It is. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Um, I might have saw my Mercurio. He, you know, did kind of fill me in best as he could. Not really his fault. He got beat up. However, the people I had to deal with, uh, they kind of just jerked me around for a bit. A taste of what's to come. <laughs> it 
You have no idea. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Alright, what would you have me do? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Uh, what about it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. Okay. What would I need to do to find that out? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So... Be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Um, pretty much just sort of explained sort of the power dynamics that I've found myself thrust into. Their zeal is admirable, but their idea is impractical for a society that must maintain secrecy and organization to stem its own genocide from coming about. I don't suppose they told you this is the only so-called free state that hasn't folded? No? Imagine that. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Well, there's some things I need to do about town, but I can get that finished and see what this is all about. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Sure thing. All right, what does that got for us? Okay, so I need to... Maybe I should check out a boat. But before I do that, I'm going to help out the Anarchs with um, this uh, disease problem. All right, and you can... What the... How do I get out of here? And you can look forward to that in the next episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hope you're enjoying this. I sure am. And I hope to see you in the next ones. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.